Hi, I'm Greg from RVH Lifestyles. We're here at Ramatech in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I've got a really smart gentleman that we're going to be talking to here in a little moment. This is David, the president and CEO, the gentleman that founded this company in 1995. The reason we're here is there is a hidden problem in many of the fuels that we're purchasing these days. Biodiesel is introducing an anaerobic bacteria. Did I get that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it right. Introducing an anaerobic bacteria that can literally stop your diesel motor cold. I'm gonna teach you a little bit about what that, well, David is gonna teach us a little bit about what, that's, what that involves. We're gonna take some samples of oil and fuel today of one of our RV haulers and we're going to learn a little bit about the analysis that we can do on those fluids and the results and the actions we can take. Now David, you've got some amazing equipment here. If you can just quickly list off, what are the pieces of equipment that we have behind you here at your access? There's an atomic emission spectrometer, Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, uh, titrators, and viscometers. Oh my. Now what David shared with, with us there, it, I have to admit, on the other side of the camera, I get the deer in the headlights look because I don't know what he's talking about. But the key to this is David's company does an analysis and provides plain English recommendations. And David, you've got kind of four categories that you will make very clear to a customer. What are those four? Yes, um, there are uh, four conditions that we um, look for. Either everything is normal and the, the report will just say condition is normal and then there'll be nothing else on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, that's just the, the written part of the report. Yeah. It should, gives all of the um, uh, spectral analysis and the uh, physical analysis of the fluid. Um, if it's abnormal, then we'll tell you what we found, what, uh, what it means, and then make some recommendations of what you need to do to fix the problem. Uh, if it's critical, of course, that means it's a more serious problem and uh, mm -hmm. needs to be fixed as soon as you can. If we flag something as destructive, then it means that uh, the engine could, uh, could possibly uh, have a catastrophic failure pretty soon. So the best thing at that point is mm -hmm. to shut it down and fix the problem. We'll tell you what the problem is. And we also uh, do give some uh, consulting um, advice uh, for free. If you want to call and talk about the report in detail, I okay. can do that for you anytime. Now, David, I grabbed a couple of actually our customer reports. Um, these ones are from a little while ago, but I've got two of the key ones here. And I want to show we've got a, a unit called GB1. And this particular sample was diesel fuel. And what you found was abnormal, so this wasn't the, the critical or destructive scenario, but it was certainly alarming. Um, you said that the sample contained 8% water and algae. Um, can you talk about, you, you told me a story once about uh, diesel fuel and how this algae can really bring you to a standstill. Um, can you share more about that? Sure. Um, basically, the algae is usually a black gooey substance that you find in there and it can block up filters. It's caused, uh, um, it's an anaerobic bacteria that forms in a, the, at the interface between water and uh, the fuel itself. Um, obviously you don't want water in there but in storage tanks in particular um, all fuel has some amount of water in it um, whether it's condensation or whatever and it separates out and the water goes to the bottom of the tank and the, the fuel floats on the top of it and at that interface this bacteria will grow. It doesn't need air to do it, that's why it's called anaerobic and uh, it forms this black sticky mess that, uh, that when it gets into your engine will block the filters and I've seen a locomotive stopped on its tracks by this stuff because it completely blocks up the wow. Filter. So in this particular case, when we looked at 8% water and algae, <coughs> was, was that significant? Was that something to be alarmed about and really deal with? Well, certainly the algae is. I mean, if there was some water 
in there. You don't want too much water because it's you don't get good combustion, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, but as I say, generally all diesel fuels will have a little bit of water in it. Yeah. Um, but the algae is the problem, and usually it needs to be fairly warm weather for that to happen. Warm conditions. And all right. So what do we do about this fuel issue with the anaerobic bacteria? Well, the answer is. Uh, David has taught me that we need to use some products that eliminate the bacteria in the slime. Um, here's one. This is a, a one made by, there's lots of them. Uh, this one's made by Schaefer's. And you can see that it says right there on the lid what it does. If I read the back, um, what it's designed to do is to eliminate and or prevent the growth of bacteria and fungi and distillate and residual fuels including gasoline, diesel, and etc. Um, I've been using this. I've had some of my customer rigs develop that bacteria. Where you find it or where you see it is in the Davco filter. There's a bell jar on most of our Volvos and you will start to see this black stuff forming on your filter. If you see that, you need to start uh, treating your fuel and getting rid of that bacteria. If you'd like to see part two of this video, we've done an oil sample analysis on that same customer unit. And if you'd like to see what that spectral analysis took or what it discovered, here I'm going to put a link to that part two video right up here on the screen. And as well, there's going to be a part three. I'll put a, link, a direct link to it a little bit lower here, right about there. And that is a link to showing you how to take your own oil sample. If you're interested in more videos about the products that we use and also the big RV haulers that we build here at RVH Lifestyles, please subscribe. I'm going to put a subscribe button right underneath my chin. Well, I got two chins, so right underneath the double chin right down here. Thank you for watching.